What's up, people? So I know Madam Web is the talk of the town right now. And yes, I did see it. I saw it on Valentine's Day. I'm not here to try to be a contrarian. I'm not here to try to buck against what everybody has been saying. The movie is terrible. It's horrible. And Sony should be embarrassed that they are releasing things like this. However, this is not going to be a review of Madam Web. There have been plenty of bad movies that make me feel like I'm individually getting my fingernails extracted. I just didn't feel that way watching Madam Web. It was bad. It was, it was really bad. There were very little redeeming qualities about this film to me, but it didn't make me angry. It's not worth that much energy to me because clearly they didn't really put that much energy and I'm not talking talking about the artists and creatives I'm talking about Sony Sony didn't put much effort into this film so I don't feel like I should have to put that much effort into talking about it it's not worth my time I'm not wasting precious oxygen going on a rant about Madam Web I instead want to talk about us me and you the movie going audience and i want to talk about how we respond to films that are competently made over the past couple of years it seems like we've become tougher on films we've become tougher on movies and i'm not even saying that we shouldn't be you know a lot of things are getting expensive a lot of these streaming services groceries gas now if you put 15 dollars in you can't even turn around good for that son of a bitch click as soon as you put it in, just click, click. There ain't no damn gas in that car. These prices are being increased and the amount of money a lot of us are making is not increasing at the same rate. It's getting very, very, very difficult to have all of these options. We're having to choose a lot these days. So it makes sense for us to be a little bit more picky and to be a little bit more critical of the content that we're consuming. It makes sense. We should expect more if you're going to charge more. I mean, it's expensive to go to the movies. I get it, man. I get it. But what I don't like is that over these past few years, it seems like we have been crapping on movies that have actually been putting in the effort you know artists that are actually walking in and saying I want to make something that I'm going to be proud of to put on my resume and it doesn't always work we've all watched movies and shows and things like that that we haven't enjoyed and it's okay to voice that but here's the thing Madam Webb is deserving of of the trashing and the crap to an extent, but not towards the director, not towards the actors. I don't feel like the creatives of the film should be getting shit for this movie. I think Sony is completely to blame because when you look at this film, when you look at the fact that they hired writers who wrote Morbius, Gods of Egypt, the last witch hunter power rangers and i like the power rangers movie but i'm not gonna lie and say that the script was the strongest part i mean <laughs> the script was definitely the weakest part of that film luckily it had directors and actors and set design and visual effects and all this stuff to elevate it to what i think is a decent film still i'm not going to crap all over the madam web creators for this movie being ass it's sony's fault this movie is ass it's sony's fault that this movie looks cheap. It's Sony's fault that these actors are unable to put their best foot forward as performers because the writing on the paper gives them nothing to work with. I cannot blame the director for not being able to pull the performances out of these actors because she wasn't given anything to work with. I want to use this time to direct you guys to a great video I found, uh, Chris Stuckman. If you're not subscribed to Chris Stuckman, I definitely recommend it. He's a huge instant inspiration for me and my channel. I watch him every time he uploads. He uploaded a video about this very topic and about Sony that I think you guys should check out. He made some great points about how when you're making a film with a huge studio breathing down your neck, you kind of have to play ball. You got to play by their rules. If they want something in the movie, if they want something done a certain way, you got to do it. You know why? Because 
they're paying your bills and they're feeding you for the next few months. I don't envy the position these creatives have been put in, but to, you know, bring it back to my original point, I watched you guys take enormous craps all over The Flash, all over the Thor Love and Thunder, all over Eternals, all over the Marvels, all over Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. And I am not even saying that if you dislike these movies that you shouldn't have. I'm not saying that you should have pretended to like these movies. If you watch these movies and you didn't like them, that's just the experience you had. If you think these are bad movies, that's just the experience that you had. I'm not trying to make excuses for these films. I'm more just trying to make a point that with Madam Web, we have an example of a film that is truly deserving of all of the crap because there's not even an effort to make a good film. There's not even an effort to respect the characters that you're trying to hold these rights to. There's not even an effort to give these creators and artists and performers the opportunity to make something that they're going to be proud to put on their resume, something that they're going to be able to say, you know what, I was happy I worked on that. I'm glad I was able to put my best foot forward. It didn't work for everybody, but I thought that I did the best that I could do, and I felt the same for everybody on my team, and this is something that we're all collectively you know, uh, gracious that we had an opportunity to have a part in it. I don't know. There's something that always has just felt gross to me about us taking enormous craps on movies that at least put in the effort to actually be real films, to actually tell real stories. Say what you will about The Flash. I've heard y'all complain about the CG. I've heard y'all complain about the cameos. And rightfully so, if it bothered you that much, it bothered you that much. But we have to respect the fact that at least they respected the characters enough to try. The Flash was attempting to tell a character-driven emotional story about somebody trying to save their mother. There was an effort by everyone involved to make a film that was great. You may not have appreciated Eternals, but that was a huge risk to do that level of world building for the MCU. It had never been attempted before. It was a huge risk to take this director who just came off of an indie film that was incredible and put her with this huge superhero film with this huge cast of characters that we'd never seen before and have her try to tell us a story about these people. There was a respect for the characters and for the creatives to make something that would resonate with someone. You may not have loved Thor Love and Thunder, but you have to admit that film is not badly directed. That film is not poorly acted. The visual effects on that film are not poor. We may not have loved the Marvels, but there was an attempt to make something fun, to make something inspiring for little girls, and it's worked. If you ask the demographics that these movies are aimed at, more than not, they work. Everyone likes to ignore the fact that these movies have positive audience ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. Everyone likes to pretend that the whole world just despises these movies, and every Everyone who likes them is lying and that's just not the case. These are competent films where the creators and artists put their best foots forward to make something that they can look at 10 years down the line and say, you know what? I'm proud of that film. I'm proud of my work. I agree with everyone. Madam Web is a horrible film. The performances are terrible. The editing is choppy. The cinematography is lazy. The direction is damn near not there. The writing is horrendous. Yes, you should not be able to just waste all of these talented people's precious time, breath, and talent and having them make this studio finance driven muck. I'm just saying that as audiences, when we watch movies like Love and Thunder, The Marvels, Eternals, Blue Beetle, Black Adam, Shazam Fury of the Gods, or Ant-Man Quantumania, or whatever. We should at least give these creators the credit for actually being able to try to do something good. And we should give those studios credit for still giving these artists the opportunity to make something of worth when we clearly have a company right here called Sony that is not doing that. Yeah, 
That's what I got to say about Madam Web. Again, I'm not going to be reviewing this movie. It's not worth my breath, you know? But yeah, I know that was kind of all over the place. I didn't really write notes. I just thought about this and I decided to hit record. But if you agree with me, if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear your points. If you want to call me a dumbass, feel free. If you want to call me a genius, feel free. Everything in between, comment section below. And if you like this video, you want to see more of them, hit subscribe, hit like. I have been Drew. Don't watch Madam Web. Instead, go see Bob Marley, One Love. It's a good movie. It's a really good movie. And I'll see you guys next time.